Hi, I'm Kent. Now I'm talking about how I got into pottery. So in the last video, I talked about my adventure for getting a tiny kiln at home during the pandemic. And the next challenge was actually starting to make pots. I didn't have a wheel and I was looking at different options and uh, building out of slabs seemed like the natural place to start. Basically to do slab building, you take a piece of clay and you make it very thin, you roll it out, um, and then you can cut different shapes out and uh, then turn those into uh, different forms. So I was looking at making pots in particular. So I was cutting out these kind of arc shapes to make a cone. Here are some of my very early pots. So here you can see these, they have the nice taper shape. Um, if you look very closely though, they are um, not exactly straight. So there's one, here's another one. So these were not bad for uh, first pots, um, but they weren't exactly what I was looking for. I tried a few other shapes. Um, so this one here actually has, has straight walls and I carved it a little bit. So, so that was okay, um, but they weren't uh, very impressive from my perspective. They looked a little bit like uh, kindergarten pottery. Um, so I was trying to think of like, how could I do this better? So one of the tricks for slab building is actually taking the clay and then putting it over a mold. So it'll take the shape of the mold. So I didn't have any forms that actually I liked that I would make uh, a pot from. So I have a 3D printer and I wondered if I could use that to make a mold. So this is one of my first attempts. This is actually a four part mold. I found on Thingiverse actually a shape. Um, it was kind of this uh, faceted shape and then I wanted to uh, make a mold out of it. So I took the negative and I made uh, four of these pieces. I basically cut it up um, in, into four pieces so that they could be put together like this. I knew that given the concave shape, um, the, it would have a hard time releasing. So I made it into four pieces so that um, I could pull the mold away from the side. So instead of taking the clay and pushing it over something, I took the clay, rolled it thin, and then pushed it in into this. This worked okay. Um, so I have some uh, some tiny pots. Um, these are kind of indicative of the size of my, my kiln. Um, so here's one, and here's another. Um, I was able to take the clay and get it to form um, and, and push it in, and it worked, it worked reasonably well. Um, one of the big challenges was that the clay was sticking uh, to the mold, which is, is not to be surprising. Normally when you do uh, molds with clay, they're made out of plaster and the plaster will suck the moisture out and in doing so um, actually releases. With the plastic, it's uh, not porous um, and so you really have to w wait for the clay to kind of dry from the other side. However, they didn't let that stop me. Um, those pots were a little too tiny and so I made another one. So this was uh, one of my next molds. Um, so this one's actually only in three parts. Um, it's basically the same shape but stretched up larger. Um, so I could actually have slightly larger pots and you could still see some of the residual clay in there. One of the other things I did was I have all of these tabs on the outside. And for these, I actually put holes in them. I actually put a little tiny uh, bolt and nut through so I could put it in and align it vertically and get the bottom all lined up. And then the process was the same. I would roll a thin piece of clay and I would start shoving it in there. I actually would take you know many pieces of clay and put it down there in the, in the bottom. This also worked okay. Um, so here's some pots that came out of this process. Um, the walls are pretty thick. Um, again, they aren't exactly uniform. Here, here's another another pot. This one I, I glazed in two different colors. Um, and uh, again, it worked okay. Um, you'll notice that these pots are quite a bit shorter than the actual mold. Um, part of that was because the top of the pots when I made them were not in good shape. So I wound up trimming those, trimming those off. So this process worked. Um, overall, I was relatively happy with it. Um, it let me create some more interesting shapes. Uh, the, the, these are very, very organic and are nice, but um, are also extremely handmade um, and, and maybe too much of a handmade way. These other ones uh, still have that kind of handmade aesthetic, but are starting to get into more, more interesting shapes. And that was appealing to me. So this was the beginning of my journey of using my 3D printer. Um, next up, I actually started looking at making my own molds for, for plaster, which would let me do slip casting.